Gadu buri buri nyangam burai. Gadu buri buri galo burai. Gadu buri buri ngam nu. Gadu buri buri namba maya garu. Poetry is in everything. And poetry can be found everywhere in our relationships with each other, in our relationships to country, in a beautiful sunrise, in the way that you know the tides leave marks on the sand. It can be found in the way that a buru kangaroo moves across country. Today, we are starting a very exciting project called Baraya Barai, which means sing country in Gatang. It is not a workshop, it is a ceremony. It's a way for us to listen deeply, to reflect, to learn and to honour through dance and song and culture. Today we're in Darawal country and for Aboriginal people our learning pattern was involved in our story sharing. And so that story sharing was done poetically through the rhythm and the melody of language. So this project for Poetry in First Languages is about revitalising our connection to language and our connection to country through deep listening. And we listen deeply to country and the whales being one of her beautiful creatures that share their story and share their voices with us. Those whale songs, that rhythm, those sounds, all of that has been brought into dance as well themselves, whether it be from the bottom of Australia all the way up into Yungu country. Yeah, that's acknowledged and that's still spoken about and sung today. This does distance us from a Western structure of an education system. You know, we're not in a classroom today. Our teachers are traditional owners up and down the coast, elders, custodians, knowledge holders, language teachers, and the kids are just choosing to be here. My great-grandmother, she was the last fluent speaker of my language, so I was blessed, and I use that word blessed because not many of us could learn language at home. So I was very, very lucky to um, be taught my language on country from my grandmother and my uncle. There's a real thirst and hunger, I think, to be taught and to learn in this way, and it's a treat that we get to, to run a program like this and get our kids out connected to country, learning about language and carrying the songlines and the stories forward. You know, in, in rolling out poetry in first languages in the past, I've seen that children will arrive into the space and be a bit anxious or shame that they don't have language or they haven't had access to it sooner. But across the day, you see a kind of pride that starts to bubble in them. You know, they stand a bit taller and they speak a bit louder and more confidently and our kids are feeling connected, not only to the land and to the language, but to each other. And they feel strong and proud of who they are. So many of us don't have language. I tell the kids, you can be the person in your family to bring it back. We would love to see this grow into a national program and a national series of corroborees and celebrations that happen across the nation. Thank you.